Hello everyone, my name is Jacobin and welcome back to another redstone video and in this video I am going to be building uh, an interesting kind of door where basically when I flip in the cert or the correct code here um, and then click this button to open the door the the door will open but there won't be anything inside it if, if the code is wrong if the code is correct and I open the door then there will be a treasure inside it so if the if the combination is correct this door will open not like that of course it'll be a three by three door and then this door here will open if the combination is correct and then I'll be able to find all my precious materials and yes I consider these precious <laughs> first things first we should probably figure out the door now because I'm too lazy to do an actual three by three piston door I'm just gonna do a simple um, well slime and honey block piston door and then there'll just be double piston extender and triple piston extender or no double piston extender and then just one piston extension down here and this I spent far far too long of a time on and it, it, it I feel like it's a lot more complicated than it needs to be but there's the closing and then there's the opening which is you know it's not the best but you know that's not the point of this video the door is not the point of the video it's the it's the vault inside that's the point moving on to the next part of the build which is the combination I think I'm gonna do where the buttons so here here and here and then we'll have these there and then uh, redstone here so that when this flip is or this switch is flipped this switch is flipped and this switch is flipped then the redstone turns off because that means all of these torches that are powering the blocks around the redstone is turned off so then we can actually power the um or open the door so the next part is i need to figure out this door here i need to be able to open that and i may just end up doing an actual 3x3 piston door that shouldn't interfere with it though but yeah i think i'll probably just do an actual 3x3 piston door because i mean i don't build those very often i should probably get more in the habit of it because they're pretty cool but um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and build an actual 3x3 three three piston door right here. And then make it so that when all three of these torches are flipped and I open this door, then the other door behind it opens as well. Okay. Let me go refresh my memory on 3x3 three three piston doors. Whoa, wait. Okay, so I literally just came up with this design here. I didn't even... Uh, wow. Okay, I was just going through the logic. Okay, so... What? Here, let me just destroy this quick so you can see. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, so I, ah, wow, I was just messing around. But here is my quick um, <laughs> three by three door. And as you can see, so when I flip this lever, it powers this redstone. And then this thing, this uh, observer here fires this piston. And then these observers here come around and fire this piston, but then also set off this double piston extender. So what happens is then this block is pushed upward this block is pushed under here and then the double piston extender pushes everything up to right here and then when I fire it again this block grabs that block then this piston uh, wait no grabs that block then this piston grabs that block again and then the piston or the double piston extender extender fires again and pulls that block down to there I did not I had no idea what I was doing but that just worked dude the rest is easy Oh, this is great. I mean, it's obviously not the most compact design, but this is beautiful. Nice. Okay, sweet. Okay, so I have the working door now. It looks really crazy, complicated, and upsetting, but it's fine. It's actually mostly one block wide, except for these observers here. And I'm not sure if there's a way to change that with my specific design, but whatever. But as you can see, it is kind of slow at first, and it does come back sort of slow but whatever I'm fine with that honestly and I actually don't know if I have enough room to put this in my other world but we'll see how it fits there we go I was actually able to put it on both doors because we actually had so much extra room look at that it's so nice in here so airy okay but as you can see now if we flip both of these levers obviously I'm not gonna have the levers here when I'm done but if we flip these levers the doors do in fact work and we can access all of our valuables but now what we need to do is actually link them up to this system which I did have to push a little bit further away than it was but you know that's fine we don't need these extra blocks and then we can move this over here very nice okay beautiful 
Now what we need to do is just go ahead and link this section here up to these things here. Actually, I think it was going to be this one. This is a very awkwardly placed T flip flop, but I do believe it should work. So if we flip this, this is not on, is it? Oh, it was on. Well, anyways, if we click this button, the door will then close. And then if we click, click it again, it will open very nice. Okay, so um, the next thing we need to do, oh gosh, uh, <coughs> is, oh, we actually want this to be timed, so eventually, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, this is strange because we need this T flop to actually switch off after a certain amount of time. Okay, so I put a little bit of an extra T flip flop in here just to give it some time to stay open, and then eventually it will shut off, I think. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I'm an idiot. No, all these need to be on one ticks. But that still does not give it a lot of time, does it? No, the T flip flop. It's just like pumped or Oh gosh, no. Okay, that's why I made that one sideways. Okay, I think I fixed that. So if we click this button, the door will open. And then it will close again. Oh, I wish we had more delay than that. I suppose what we could do is just pull this around this way and just give it a crap ton of one tick delays. <laughs> Just to keep it at one pulse, you know. I mean, I guess that technically works. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that works, I suppose. Okay, let's try that. So that opens. And then it waits a little bit, and then it closes again. So, I mean, yeah, I guess that gives you enough time to come in. But then you're sort of just trapped in here. Then, could we have a lever here to get out? Okay, well, I just made a way out of it, so if we click this button, the door will open. You should walk through pretty quickly, because it's going to shut pretty quickly. But then if we click this button, yes, it will open. We can walk out, and then it will close behind us. Nice. So, literally all I did was just add this piston with redstone, and then align right here to power these same two um, T flip-flops, which was just great. But now what we want to do is make this um, line here so we flip all those off we, when we click the button um, this thing here will also fire so gotta work on that all right so basically what I've done here is that I made it so that when I flip all the correct switches this torch here turns on uh, okay. and then that will power this piston here which will then give access to this T flip-flop to power um, or to open this door in the back here but only when these are flipped so if any one of these switches switches isn't flipped then this will pull up and you won't be able to open the back so that when you open this door it's just that door opening and then it will close again but then if you do flip this switch and click this now this is my first time testing it please work please work yes it will also open the back door and then the back door will stay open but of course you'd be going inside it and then well hold on okay so my theory was whoever clicked this button would open the door and then go inside and then they'd find the chest and then the door would close behind them they'd take all the valuables if they wanted those valuables and then when they click this button to get out the door would there would close behind them and then the door would open the vault and then close the vault but then this door would stay closed so this this whole thing actually works so if all of those aren't flipped, or if any one of those aren't flipped, then we can open the door and see that there's nothing there. But then if we flip the correct switches and click the button, yes, the inside door opens and we can find all our valuables and then get out again while the door behind us close. Oh man, this is great. I'm so happy with this. This is Oh, this is cool. I also love the variety of colors in this thing. I feel like I don't normally use this many wool colors, but it turns out pretty cool. And I, it, it's definitely separated quite a few things. Like the yellow is definitely the first door. The blue is the second door. The purple line, 
green line is the T flip flops and yeah it's just the T flip flops I guess and then the orange stuff is all the circuitry for this board here oh man so this is cool then if we just flip one of these f f levers then the door doesn't open but then if we do flip one of them then the door in the back does open look at that beautiful okay well that was it for this video so if you enjoyed it leave a like down below and if you really enjoyed it then consider subscribing because that would help out a lot but yeah i'll uh, see you next time